<laughs> and one area that saw a lot of rain overnight was the I-70 I-25 interchange. So right now, crews are getting a semi back up on its wheels. This is after it tipped over there early this morning on I-25. On the left, the live pictures, the crews continue to work that zone. The road's still blocked, but people are getting by in the HOV lanes. That's on the right, what it looked like uh, right after we got there at about 3 this morning. See the semi just all over those lanes. Police tell us two people in the semi did have to go to the hospital. So let's take it over to Jason and traffic now to tell you how to get around this mess. And let me show you quickly from Pete's picture there of the semi. This is the tandem trailer, one of the last of the trailers. Look at all the stuff that's in there. They might be unloading it as they're trying to upright this thing, and now they have a door open on it, so they might try to unload it and see it's full of food. It was a U.S. food truck that flipped over. And now I want to show you the CDOT camera here this morning because this is where the, where the closure is, exiting I-70 here. Now I'll give you the ways to get around it in just a second. One of them is the HOV lane. Usually the southbound lanes are open for HOV, but today it's open to everybody to alleviate, alleviate that traffic congestion so that northbound side will be able to uh, be open for you. And you can see that some folks are using it. And then we have some folks that are really slow because they're looking at the activity on the other side of the highway. Take a look at the map. This is where you can get around this accident. Northbound I-25, exit I-70, exit Washington or Brighton Boulevard, go under the highway back to I-70. You can also do the same thing at Pecos. You won't have to have any traffic lights because of the roundabouts there. You could also exit Spear or 20th, run over to Federal I-70, and then head back to northbound 25.